Oh, back for more knowledge, are you? All right, I guess I'll entertain you. So have you ever wondered how your computer stores an entire library's worth of data in something that's about the size of a paperback book? Well, friends, the answer lies in the mind-blowing magic of the hard disk drive. So in this deep dive, we're going to crack open one of these data-storing wonders and explore the incredible tech that makes it all possible. We'll check out the key components, learn how the drive reads and writes your data with nanometer precision, and discover the latest innovations that push the boundaries of storage density. You know, besides SSDs. So, grab your screwdrivers and put on your safety glasses and your anti-shock band. It's time to dive in and see what makes these data dynamos tick. Or, I guess, spin. Alright, let's pop the top off this bad boy and see what's inside. First thing you'll notice is this shiny stack of disks called platters. These are the workhorses of the drive, storing all those precious bits and bytes of your data. Each platter is made of an aluminum magnesium alloy coated with a thin magnetic layer that's just 20 nanometers thick. In case you didn't know, that's about 5,000 times thinner than a sheet of paper. This ultra-thin layer is where the drive stores your data using tiny magnetic domains. To access all those bits, we've got this incredible mechanism called the Head Stack Assembly. It's got an arm for each side of each platter, with a teeny tiny read-write head at the end of each arm. The real magic happens when the platter starts spinning at a mind-blowing 7200 rotations per minute, RPM for you tech heads. That's over 20 times faster than a vinyl record. Good luck telling your grandpappy to keep up with this baby. As the platter spin, the head stack assembly flies the read-write head an impossible 3 nanometers above the surface. That's just a few dozen atoms worth of clearance. To put that in perspective, if the read-write head were the size of a Boeing 747, boy are they in trouble, it would be flying less than a millimeter off the ground. And you thought parallel parking was nerve-wracking. Positioning the head stack with such precision requires serious muscle, and that's where the voice coil motor comes in. Think of it like the beefed up version of the motor that makes your phone vibrate. Using a coil of wire and some powerful neodymium magnets to rapidly accelerate the head stack back and forth. Finally, we've got the circuit board that houses the brains of the operation. It's got a microprocessor to manage all the data traffic, some memory chips to cache your data, and the all-important interface that lets the driver talk to your computer. The whole thing is sealed up tighter than a space shuttle to keep out even the tiniest specks of dust. Normally, we find dust to simply be a nuisance for a computer, but in this case, it can be a disaster to let even a speck of it get into an assembly that's measured in nanometers. So now that we've met the cast of characters inside a hard disk drive, let's see how they work together to store and retrieve your data. It all starts with these platters, which are divided into billions of tiny concentric circles called tracks. Modern drives can have over 500,000 tracks per inch. Put in perspective, try squeezing 200 hula hoops into the width of a human hair. Each track is further divided into smaller sections called sectors. These are the basic units of data storage on the drive, each holding a fixed number of bytes plus some extra space for error correction and other housekeeping. To write data to the drive, the head stack assembly positions the read-write head over the desired track and sector. As the platter spins underneath, an electromagnet in the wire head generates a precise magnetic field that aligns the magnetic domains in the platter's coating, encoding your data in a pattern of north and south poles. But here's where things get really wild. To record a binary 1, the right head actually flips the orientation of the magnet domains as it passes over. For binary 0, it leaves the domain unchanged. The right head does this up to 2 billion times per second, meaning it can record 2 gigabytes of data every second. Ever thought of writing out the entire text of the Harry Potter series in less than 5 seconds? Yeah, this little guy does basically that. Reading that data back is just as impressive. As the read head passes over the track, it detects the tiny magnetic fields generated by all those aligned domains. But it's not as simple as just measuring the field strength. You see, the read head is actually looking for changes in the magnetic field that represent the boundaries between ones and zeros. Think of it like reading Braille. It's the transitions between the dots that encode the information, not the dots themselves. To detect these transitions, the read head uses a special type of sensor called a giant magnetoresistive GMR element. And if you thought that sounds like a good name for a gadget to use against Magneto, don't be ashamed. I kind of thought so too.
but it's actually a tiny slab of layered magnetic materials whose electrical resistance changes when exposed to a magnetic field. As the head passes over the magnetically encoded data, the GMR sensor's resistance goes up and down, generating a tiny electrical signal that then drives electronics to code into the original ones and zeros. Oh, but we're not done yet. The drive doesn't just read one bit at a time. That would be, like, way too slow. Instead, it reads a whole chunk of data at once, using a technique called parallel read. Modern drives can read up to 2400 bits in parallel, allowing them to retrieve your data at blisteringly fast speeds. Of course, reading and writing data with such precision requires some seriously tight tolerances. The drive constantly monitors the position of the read and write heads using special servo tracks embedded between the data tracks. By reading these servo patterns, the drive can make minute adjustments to keep the heads perfectly aligned over the data tracks, even as the platters expand and contract with changes in temperature. Ever tried throwing a dart at a bullseye the size of a pinhead from 100 yards away while riding on a roller coaster? It's about that precise. Yet this little dude can do it billions of times a second, day in and day out, for years on end. As mind-blowing as modern hard disk drives are, Engineers are always pushing the boundaries to cram even more data into these miraculous devices. Let's have a little gander at some of the cutting-edge technologies that are fueling the next generation of HDDs. First up, there's a technique called Shingled Magnetic Recording, or SMR. Remember how we said each track is divided into sectors? Well, with ASMR, uh, excuse me, uh, SMR, those tracks are laid down in an overlapping pattern, like shingles on a roof. This allows the drive to pack the tracks closer together, increasing the aerial density, which is geek speak for how many bits you can squeeze into a square inch. But SMR does come with some trade-offs. Because the tracks overlap, the drive can't easily rewrite data in the middle of a shingle without affecting the neighboring tracks. To get around this, SMR drives use a clever combination of data placement strategies and caching algorithms to optimize write performance. Another buzzy technology on the horizon is heat-assisted magnetic recording, or hammer. The idea here is to use a tiny laser to heat up a small spot on the platter before writing to it. By raising the temperature, the drive can overcome the super-paramagnetic limit, the point at which magnetic domains become unstable due to their small size, and pack the bits even closer together. Hammer drives can achieve aerial densities of over 2 terabytes per square inch. That's like squeezing the entire Library of Congress onto a single platter. Imagine if you could literally do that. But it's not easy. The drive has to precisely control the timing and positioning of the laser to avoid damaging the platter coating or the read-write head. Finally, there's a more radical approach called Microwave-Assisted Magnetic Recording, or MAMR. Instead of a laser, MAMR drives use a special microwave-generating element in the right head to bombard the platter with a focused beam of microwaves. This temporarily destabilizes the magnetic domains, making it easier to flip their orientation and write data at even higher densities. With technologies like SMR, HAMMER, and MAMR, the future of hard disk drives looks brighter and denser than ever. Some experts even predict that we could see 100 terabyte HDDs within the next decade. That's enough to store over 20,000 full-length movies. And as data continues to grow at an exponential pace, you can bet that engineers will keep pushing the limits of what's possible with these incredible devices. Alright, we've seen the nanoscale precision of the read-write heads and mind-bending aerial densities made possible by cutting-edge technologies like Hammer and Mammer. The HDD is a true wonder of the modern age. But the real magic of the hard disk drive isn't just in the technology, it's in the way it has transformed our world. By making it possible to store and access vast amounts of data quickly and reliably, HDDs have revolutionized everything from personal computing to scientific research to the global economy. So the next time you fire up your computer or save a file, Take a moment to appreciate the incredible engineering and innovation that goes into every hard disk drive. Seriously, if you didn't have these, you wouldn't be able to store all your ridiculous TikToks, cat videos, and homework. So be grateful! And if you want to learn even more about the technology that powers our digital world, be sure to check out our other videos like How Does Computer Memory Work? and How Does Computer Hardware Work? And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of hard disk drives, 
why not give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more geeky goodness. And don't forget to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these magnificent spinning marvels. Until next time, keep on geeking out and marveling at the wonders of technology that surround us every day.